Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you the remote DLNA playback capabilities, specifically remote controlling one DLNA device from another because uh, I had made a video regarding DLNA and in that video quite a few have asked me that I did not give any demo of uh, DLNA. So here is a demo that I'm going to give you that will utilize the DLNA feature and for this I'm using an Android tablet, you can use any Android phone and I'm using a third party app called 2Player. You can download this app directly from the Android market. It's available for the Android phone. And I'm gonna launch this now. And if you notice the first thing that it shows is, it is in the source, you need to select the source. Here, uh, I can select my local source as the Android tablet, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna select my media server and that's this i click on the same and i need to select the target device let's take the target device as a local android uh, tablet and now i'm just going to browse some of the music that i have all these songs are listed on my are being pulled directly from my nas that's the dlna server and right now uh, our uh, Target device is our local device, that's our Android tablet. So if we click on this song, it will play on this tablet. That's fine. I'm gonna pause it. Now, uh, it's not great to listen to your music on your tablet or something like that. Let's say uh, you wanna to listen to this music on your music system. Uh, luckily, my music system is attached to WDTV, which is uh, supports DLNA. So I'm just gonna select that WDTV. And now if I hit the play button, if you notice, this music is now being played from my music system, which is another room. And you can easily switch between the songs, etc. You can pause. So this is how you can remotely control what music is being played using this uh, DLNA feature. This two player app is specifically meant for audio streaming, but you can also do video streaming with third party apps. And I think uh, there's an app called iMedia Share by using which you can al also uh, stream videos from one device to another. So this is how you can use DLNA applications to move or stream audio or video from one device to another. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.